This might be one of the hardest things for youth pastors to do, but today we're going to talk about how you can overcome that and what you can do when people are nice to you. What are you talking about, Tom? When people are nice to you, what should you do? You should be just very nice and say thank you and appreciative and all that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, you should be thankful. But I have found that many youth pastors don't know how to properly accept the gifts and the blessings that they get from other people, especially around the holiday season. I don't know if you're anything like me, but whenever I've gotten a gift, I've always been very embarrassed and thought, oh my gosh, I don't deserve this. This shouldn't be happening to me. But the reality is, yes, you do deserve it. When people show their generosity and are nice to you, you do deserve those blessings and you should just be grateful, say thank you, and move forward. One time I actually tried to reject a gift that someone had given to me, thinking that I was unworthy to get such a gift. But he said, Tom, I want to bless you. God has blessed me and I want to bless you. You are blessing our church and our ministry and some people can't bless the church and the ministry the way that you can, but we want to bless you for blessing us. There's a lot of blessings in there. The reality is that you can bless the church in certain areas and other people in the church can bless the staffers and the volunteers in other ways as well. And some of it's a financial or gift giving ability. So instead of rejecting and saying that I don't deserve that or feel uncomfortable with the gift that you've been given, freely accept that and say that this is God's blessing. As a minister or youth pastor, you may not make a lot of money, but God blesses you in other areas and he surrounds you with people who can bless you as well. When you've been given those gifts that you feel like, hey, I'm not worthy to accept it, just freely accept it as a blessing from God and allow other people to bless you. But I'm curious, what do you do when you get a, a gift, especially a gift that you feel like, whoa, that's really awesome. I don't deserve that kind of stuff. What do you do? Share below or hit us up at Why I'm Psychic. Let us know how, what you do when you get those type of gifts. All right, well, that wraps us up for today. Make sure you tune in to whyimpsychic.com all week, I've got fresh content coming out, and to sign up for the Sidekick Scoop. It's a twice a month newsletter where I take a bunch of different podcasts and blogs from all over the ministry world and compile it in a simple email that I send to you. So take a look at it, sign up for the Sidekick Scoop in the link below. All right, everyone, I hope you have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you next time.